Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Paulie, and this is episode 4 of I'm Still Playing This Goddamn Game in July. I'm joined tonight by a good friend of mine, uh, a Facebook streamer of all things, of, uh, of FIFA, um, Demetrius of Demetrius Plays. Uh, how you doing, mate? I prefer the term mixture refugee. <laughs> ah, yes, no, I, I, I definitely think a lot of people fall under that category now. How's it going? Hey, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the channel. So. Thanks for the channel. <laughs> thanks for the channel. So we um. Obviously today we got season. Uh, well, I don't even know what season we're in now. Would this be season four or season five? I think it's five or six. Five or six. Of uh of content on um on ultimate team of course the big thing is we got batch three of the best of summer heat cards which is just madness uh madness they've basically put every good card that they've released in the best version of them in packs of course we won't pack any of them will we do never no we'll never what's, we'll... A, what's a pack I've heard I've heard packs are really handy things, but I don't know. I just apparently do I just do upgrade packs. Apparently, <laughs> you can get good players out of them, but apparently, I didn't I didn't get that DLC. No, it's hard for me to get uh, really good players out of eighty two to eighty eight upgrade packs, but we'll talk about that another day. So uh, we just want to we're just going to go through like what was released today, our thoughts about it, and then I've got sixteen packs in the store, including some of the marquee matchup packs two ultimate packs one for my uh, squad battles games and one from my uh, participation i guess you'd call it like interaction rewards that everyone got today um d opened his and who did you get i got future stars mason mount and team of the year team of the season so far Kovacic, who with the duplicate so so cards that are definitely getting into your starting 11 to be fair Kovacic is on Kovacic's double is on the, on the bench. Mason okay. Mount has already been used in the last season. <laughs> He's gone. He's out of there. He's, He's already out of here. been gone. Yep, so at the end of the episode, I'll be opening on my packs, um, including in that is the guaranteed Serie A player. I, I dropped Jordan Henderson in because Henderson was never getting into it. So team of the season, Henderson went in for me to probably get Berardi out. But, you know, we're here for the content. We move. <laughs> we move. So, um, release today, so we're just going to go straight into uh, the season progress. Now, I've already completed three parts of it, just in general, but uh, the two players that are being featured this time around are Grincha and Johan Cruyff, which is going to be very good for a lot of people because, well, I say that, if you've ever played Draft before, you've probably used Grincha's Prime Moments card because he pops all the time. However, Cruyff is a totally another matter. I have never played against or seen anyone have Prime Moments Cruyff. Have you, D? I think I've seen one moment. Yeah. I think I've seen one moment Cruyff. Did you cry when you played against him, though? I'm so, legend has it, I'm still crying. <laughs> well, I, I definitely agree. <laughs> I look at this card and weep delicately to myself. Um, so we've got some you know your standard packs your standard tifos that no one cares about i guess the gold ones look quite good but you know it's july come on just as far Should as i'm concerned I'm, i've not actually looked at the celebrations no I, I prefer not to look at what i'm going to hate for the next I think, month. I think you have to react to them live that's the content <laughs> we're here for all right well looking good is getting deleted straight away i don't want nothing <laughs> to do with that um the Phoenix Fire one's all right, but as far as I'm concerned at this point in the game cycle, these should all be packs. These should all be good packs out of this, you know. We shouldn't be getting TFOs. We should just be getting player packs just from every direction. So we've we've got them, and then we've got our level 15 cards, which are Morales, Andre Gomez, and uh, Teti the right back from Leon. Now, D, when you get to level 15, who are you going to be taking? Uh, I think... it was Who was it? Morales? Morales, Gomez, Gomez and Teddy. I 
think it's probably going to be probably going to be Tetty because he's the highest rated and he can go into an SBC. I I completely agree that that is probably what most people are going to go with. I will probably go with Andre Gomez simply because yes, he's the middle rated one, but he's also pretty easy to link Portuguese and uh and from the prem. Yeah, exactly. If you want to link into that Richarlison, then, then you then you're good to go. Oh, you mean for an SBC? You don't I mean, I mean for an SBC. Football. I don't actually want to oh, use you're it. Not gonna, you're not going to put Richarlison in an SBC. No, <laughs> no, exactly. Um, his stats are pretty good, but let's face it, we've got Hullet Club members coming from every direction at this point. Um, so that's not even very impressive. It used to be an exclusive club. I know. I've oh, I've, I've heard rumor of that as well. No, it's basically like every girl who gets a blending brush thinking that she's a makeup artist on Instagram. <laughs> exactly. Um, oh, I do. I didn't even realize that Eusebio was on this as well. I thought it was yes. just the two. Okay. Well, that's a a seven. Oh my god! I am not looking forward to fuck champs in three weeks' time. Oh dear me! What have you done, EA? So basically everyone out there just accept that you're fuck champs in three weeks time you're going to be playing against Eusebio and Cruyff up front simple as that it's going to happen especially especially on the Sunday when people need their last games for wherever they need yeah. they'll be bringing them on okay the yeehaw celebrations also getting deleted I want nothing to do with that <laughs> just no thank you um all right the flying saucers I can actually get behind that TIFO they've, they've actually released a TIFO that I can get behind I quite like that uh your standard Stuff like that. Rock on celebration. I'll take that. I might actually use it as a, you know, a lover of rock music. And then, I mean, should we be brutally honest here? There is absolutely no question about who people are taking for the level 30. It's It's got to be Martial or Bust, hasn't it? Yeah, but look, it's... There's Martial, it's Chan... Or who's the other one? Bernadeschi. Well, there you go. I mean, don't get me uh, wrong. Bernadeschi is a bloody good card. You know, four star, five star, good work yeah, rates. Be Mad unless, unless you particularly out, unless you need for a particular reason, Chan. Yep. Dortmund fan. Unless for ke- otherwise, if, if chemistry is not a factor, it has to be Marshall. Yeah. I mean, that Chan card is very good. It, it is very good. It's got crazy stats. Bernadeschi is very good, but I think most people are going to take Martial. <laughs> we have seen during out this entire FIFA cycle that there is a massive bias towards Premiership players. So I think you're going to come up against Martial far more than you're going to come up against the other two. Imagine if you had Witzel and had those two, Shan and Witzel, as your two CDMs in a 4 2 3 1. That'd be mad. That would be very... I, unfortunately, I think most people's Vitzels have been SBC'd by this point. Yeah, I know sure. mine has. You, you know me, mine is still there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're an absolute hoarder. So, I, I get an emotional attachment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, then we go on to objectives. Now, there's a lot of pretty good objectives here. We've got some nice, uh, just for winning games of rivals, for another one for just winning groups of rivals which is pretty nice the hot streak i think is reminiscent of the um foot champs stuff that we got last time around but this is packs instead of player picks which uh which works nice there's some really nice packs in there mega pack prime it's, it's gonna be good for padding out your club um and then we've got dan james which is now from my experience dan james was a mad card to use for his future stars card i completed it he was a super sub for me for months um and i have already completed three parts of him he will be a super sub for me again um are you going to be completing this dan james card d i i think in time i'm I'm not in a rush but i will plug away at it yeah because it's not hard is it if you if you're, if you're still loading the game up at any point, you kind of have to. Yeah, exactly. And you can do him in rivals. You can do it in um, you can do it in squad battles. It's all fair enough. And, and that is, you know, assist 15 goals on squad battles. Professional with Premier League players, easy for everyone at this point. Uh, score two and assist two in the same squad battles match on minimum professional, using players with minimum four-star weak foot. I mean, everybody's front line's got to have at least minimum four-star weak foot at this point. 
Um, and if you don't have a Ben Yedder in your club somewhere, at least, you've probably played the game wrong. So, you know, six or one half dozen the other. Silky skills, assist in two separate squad battles matches on minimum professional difficulty using players with minimum four-star skill moves. Once again, four-star skill move players are everywhere. Winning the battle is just your standard scoring. So this is the this is the one that's going to drag it out a little bit because you've actually got to play seven games. But it's the kind of thing you can do while you're watching The Simpsons. It doesn't really matter. And... I mean, his stats are really nice, but he's a super sub. We can't get around that. He he is a super sub. You know, he's probably not going to start for many people at this point. So, that is uh, that is all that stuff. We can see that, obviously, you know, the, we've got some crazy cards in packs at the moment. Um, That's a good card. That is a very, very good card. This I tell you what. I'm going to open these packs, and if Ben Yedder pops out, I'm going to pop off. I might cry. I genuinely might cry. Um, we've got fuck champs at the moment. Anyone wondering why my coin balance is quite low? I did spend quite a lot of coins to complete the first three sets of marquee matchups today. So a lot of my coins went into that, but I'm hoping to get them back. And from these packs I'm opening, I need a Chelsea or a Liverpool player, because I'm not paying the prices for them on the market. Because they are ludicrous. So I'm well, hoping... I've known that before I put a Rudiger in an SPC earlier. <laughs> I think you have a Giroud though. So you could probably make about 10k off him. I do have a Giroud. Yep. So as for SPCs that were put in today. As far as I know. It was pretty much the guaranteed Syria player. Team of the season so far SPC. Which I have done. And we will be opening shortly. And... The 94 Arturo Vidal, which Demetrius has completed already. Although, as far as I know, he hasn't actually used him in a game. No, I haven't used him yet. But I did have his, I had his flashback, didn't I? So yeah. I got obligated to do it. And I also used that duplicate Kovacic as well. Yep. And you used, was it a duplicate Muller that you got from the Bundesliga? Uh, dupl- I also used a duplicate Muller. And did I also use a trip? one of the triplicate? <laughs> um, one, yeah. Illicic's. One of your many versions of Illicic that you had in your club. Um, this Vidal card is mad. It, you, you can't get around it. This is an endgame Vidal card. This is the GG Wijnaldum of La Liga. That's why this card has been put in. You know, you've got Vidal, who's La Liga. You've got Wijnaldum, who's Prem. And you've got Emre Chan from the objectives that's going to be the Bundesliga version. Oh, I wish I'd done Vinicius Jr. You really should have done Vinicius Junior because the card is crazy. I wasn't even really playing the game at the time, and I did Vinicius, and I did it for free, just grinding upgrade packs. It was insane. I wish I'd recorded that to be honest, because that would have been mad to see. I literally crafted Vinicius Junior with seventeen thousand coins. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, when you look at this Vidal stats, it's it's crazy. Now, my personal opinion on this card. I'd I'd put an engine or a shadow on him just to get his pace up because I don't think you need to touch anything else. I mean, what are you going to put on him, D? One of the two. Yeah. Uh, if, I, if I play him at setting mid engine, if you're playing him at CDM, probably a shadow. Yeah, because you don't really need to touch that much on this card. It's, it's a crazy card. Uh, traits, dives into tackles, power header. Power header's really good, um, although he is 5'11". But... I think uh, the power header trait does give them a bit of an edge when it comes to winning in the air. So that's neither here nor there. And then I still need to complete the final part of Marky matchup. So that will be in a future video, obviously, if uh, I can get hold of these cards to uh, actually complete Chelsea and Liverpool. But other than that, it's been a... Uh, it's It's been a good day but we tend to not see a massive dump of content on the friday when we get Mm. the new sort of season and stuff added in one thing that's interesting that i've just realized about vidal i think vidal is the first spc that's been released or maybe rebich might as well yeah ea have suddenly stopped putting the mixed squads into spcs Mm. which is a shame Mm. A real shame because I think that, you know, for what they were, they were really nice. You know, you could trade 
11 bronze players in to get a rare gold player, which was super handy for a lot of people. But EA have apparently stomped that because people probably thought it was fun. And we can't have that, can we? Not around here. Around these parts. No. So, uh, before we get into the packs, just going quickly onto my trade pile at the moment. These are all the bronzes that I've managed to sell on. Uh, for anyone wondering, referencing back to my previous videos about like what does sell, what doesn't sell, this will give you a pretty good idea of what I do move on and, uh, and the prices of them. I've sold a lot of stuff and I've recouped a lot of money. The golds at the start were golds that I bought to try and do the marquee matchups that I just didn't need. So I sold them and I actually sold all of them for a little bit of a profit. Only a couple of hundred coins here or there. But um, I did manage to catch some pretty good deals on them. So I'm still sat on these three nanny cards that I tried, that I did as an investment sort of just test. And he is now up to about two and a half K as it stands. And I bought these for all between a thousand and one thousand five hundred coins. So it just has sort of has testament to the fact that when players are out of packs, just buy them. And they will go up naturally the more SBCs come out. So yeah, so I think it's about time for, to get onto my packs so that I can ruin Demetrius's day or night, as it is, as we're recording this at one o'clock in the morning after uh, a, a long night of clubs. Uh, that was a good. It was a good night of clubs there. It was a we good will, night of clubs. Uh, I'm making the highlight. Well, I'm chopping it all together now. So yeah, and of course I'll put a link to to Demetrius's uh, Facebook channel in the um in the youtube comment bit video description video description yeah still getting used to all of this jargon so first pack didn't really get anything of any value serge Aurea, he'll be handy for sbcs at one point but a lot of these players are probably just going to go into upgrade packs um in the future the rest of it just discard it's not really worth keeping um, what would you say I keep till last? Shall I, I think I should probably do the ultimate packs last instead mm. of the yeah, yeah. guaranteed Serie A. I think, build it, build it up. Yeah, I, th I think the ultimate packs are going to be where it's at. Um, these, once again, they're, they're going to be pretty basic. And Anchor Chem style is pretty handy. That's probably actually worth more than most players at this point. Oh, see if we get anything good out of this one. Nope. No boards. Now, there are some... I, I did do some bronze upgrades earlier when I was opening bronze packs. And one thing that uh, everyone should remember at this point is that uh, there are quite a few Team of the Season so far players that can come out as commons. Baradi, I know, is one because I had him come out as a common before. Uh, Lala is a common card. Oh, so this is a board. That's just a board. What is, it? is that a man of the... Is that an import? Spanish goalkeeper. Uh, yeah. Here's an import. Uh, Ivan Suela from Madanez. Either way, I think he's tradable. Tweet. So that's 10,000 coins. Have you seen the latest tweet from me yet? No, I haven't. Yeah, direct. It says, we're, we are seeing reports that some player items... Some player items incorrectly had their gold versions in pack. We've updated these items and are actively looking. Well done. Yes. Stand, standard EA. Bless them. They, they can't do anything. <laughs> mistaken, they've, got, they've got more of a mistake in them than David Luiz. Oh no. Just let the David Luiz thing go, D. It'll be fine. I'll let, him go. I'll let it go when my club, let, my club lets him go. <laughs> Don't say that, because he'll probably end up at Madrid, and I can't live with that. <laughs> God, a downhill turn you have made. Yeah. All right, so we're going to skip over the ultimate packs for now. We want to leave them till last. If, if we're going to get Team of the Seasons, it's going to be out of them. Just nothing of any real value. It's, it's just worth skipping through these at this point. If, if it's not a board, then, I mean, just don't even bother. You're, you're only here for the big boys at this point during the... Uh, during the game cycle, and I think the, a lot of these packs are um, are untradeable because they've come to objectives and stuff like that. Cello and Goo, Borgia Valero. So nothing of any discernible value yet. Let's go to the. Let's get the four gold common player packs out of the way. 
Although, watch me get Baradi or something out of one of these. I think, actually, there might still be some headliners cards in these packs. Like, I can imagine... Well, no, because Neymar's team of the season would be in, so there might there might be one or two. That's just a Champions League card. No one cares about them. Jardel. Come on. I've not I've not had anything to annoy D yet, and I can't I just can't live with that. For um for anyone wondering uh, Demetrius's pack luck has been absolutely criminal throughout this entire game. Um, I started playing in January, as you all know, and my pack luck has dwarfed Demetrius's, who has been playing since September when the game came out. Day one. Day one, OG. Day one, OG. And I strut in in January wearing my, like, cowboy hat and absolutely ruin your experience. Human Swan was my best to pull. From between October and late January. Yeah. Early February. Can't I finally got a player better than him. <laughs> Alright, so we're, we're down to the last five packs. And we're starting to get to the packs that could have some value in them now. So I think these are packs from Marky Matchups. Which means they're tradable. Which is where I need, I need to try and sort of accumulate some coinage back. So Ruben Neves will be worth some money. In fact, there's a there's a lot of prem players in this pack, so they're probably gonna be worth selling. But I'll I'll go through that later on. I have no real value for them right now. Uh, prime mixed players pack, which has actually been one of my better packs to open throughout this game. When I was doing league SBCs a lot, I had a lot of good players come out of mixed player packs, which is strange because a lot of people don't rate them. Unfortunately, this one has not done well for me. So what are we saying, D? Two ultimate packs, Serie A team of the season. So I open the Serie A team of the season first? Yeah. Cool. Portuguese flag is what we want. <laughs> they say, but you thought that's what you saw. No, that's, that's what you've got to hope for. Come on. Spanish. It's Luis Alberto. Do you know what? I'll take that. He's a, he's a 97. So what I've essentially done is I've traded Jordan Henderson for Luis Alberto. Which, you know, neither of them are great. But at least he's a 97. That's not too bad. 97. <sighs> Alright. Ultimate packs. Ultimate packs. Oh, God. Oh, oh, come on, give me something good. Something real good. Just give me that pink flare. It's a pink flare. Oh, it's Chesney. I thought it was Lewandowski. Oh, I've been baited there. Come on, there could be something else in here. Oh, Iago Aspas, Pizzi. Sarabia. Okay, I've got Rudiger, which is great. Mm, you needed that, didn't you? I needed you needed him. the boy. Uh, anyone else from... Oh, and I've got Abraham. So I've got two Chelsea players to pick from. And now I just need a, uh, I need a Liverpool player, which is fair enough. Okay, Chesney, untradeable. That's handy for fodder. So, come on, another pink flare. That's what we want. It is a board. It is a pink flare. Who's that? Oh, it's um, Ossiman from LOSC Mill. Huh? Give the season. Yeah. Oh my god. Hey. And, I, and I got Berardi, team of the season. And two informs, Stindle and Levanchi. You got packed mine. Yeah. Oh wow, that's mad. Did I. I mean, the real question is did I get any Liverpool players? That's the important thing. 
could always use Jordan Henderson. <laughs> you could have used the Jordan I could have used Jordan Henderson, yeah. Oh, well, Joe, I'll, I'll take that. That's fine. Two, two free packs, three team of the seasons, a couple of informs, some good fodder in there as well, a couple of 83s. If only, I mean, God, if these were tradable. The madness. And these are going to be untradeable, unfortunately, so I'm just going to get rid of them. But yeah, so that's the packs. I'll, I'm quite pleased with that, if I'm brutally honest. That's put a lot more stuff into my club. Probably about 100-odd players, I think, I've put into my club tonight, which is going to be very handy moving forward. Um, so the season looks good, and EA have been, to be honest, EA have been smashing it with content lately. Um, I, I'm looking forward to seeing who the next upgrade players are in objectives. I frankly am putting my money on either a Ben Yedder or an Atal card for the fan favourites for League Un. Um, and if they do pick one of those two, it's going to be crazy. It will be a mad card. I can see it being a Tau more likely because they can give his shapeshifter card away for free at this point and no one's going to care. But if they give away um, Ben Yedder's shapeshifter card, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be livid. So, we'll see. It, it all comes down to it. I mean, what, what, card are you, what cards are you hoping to see for the um, upgradable objectives, D? Objectives. Yeah. I would love. I would like another Amave. I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this foot birthday card. Yep. But his foot birthday card. He wasn't to everyone's taste, but I did really love him just for sentimental value. Yep. Um, obviously, as an Arsenal fan, Gabriel Martinelli. I don't know why he'd get one, but they really ruined him with his bum weak foot. Yep. So it'd be nice to show him some love. Yeah, um, I I don't think we're gonna get a Martinelli simply because we uh. Simply because we've already had a Prem player. I'd be quite, kind of surprised if they just went through, down the route of doing another Prem player for that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, Amavi stands a good chance because, correct me if I'm wrong, Amavi is French, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. And we know that they are very much favouring French players during this promo. Well, an objective Neymar will be alright as well. <laughs> Bring on the objective Neymar. Objective Mbappe would be grand. But... That's going to destroy the market of Mbappe's if that happens, but we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, I, you know, I'm quite happy with the packs that I got. I'm going to try my best to throw together the rest of these marquee matchups uh, for tomorrow's episode, and that so that will be a rare players pack and a small rare gold players pack from the uh, Liverpool Chelsea SBC. And then I will carry on doing upgrades. These upgrade packs expire in six days. So I'm hoping that they're going to replace them with something big. Uh, maybe something like we've seen in the pack code a guaranteed team of the season pack of just where you can get any team of the season. And I'm wondering if that's going to be the next set of upgrade packs and it will require three teams of uh seven gold players and i will run them <coughs> into the fucking ground <coughs> absolutely into the ground i swear to god um so anyway it's been a good night we've enjoyed some clubs i've enjoyed some packs and i will leave a link to demetrius's stream uh in the channel description and thank you for joining me for this uh conversation about the new season demetrius yes any yeah, anytime new season who this new season who this thank you everybody for joining us and you have a good evening goodbye